And I think we need more. We need more of these interactions. You know, some of us are in the army, we are so, so, so busy. Like this is the first time I've ever seen this place. You people need to introduce me to Kampala. I don't know Kampala at all. <laughs> I am like a, like a foreigner in this, in this city. I was saying, are we in Dinda? We, where are we? So, we, all we know is the bush and the barracks, that's all. That's all, that's all. From year to year. Either you're in Karamoja, or you're in Muhoti, or you are rushing to Gulu. That's our life. Before you reach Gulu, they say, no, there's, you have to jump on the plane. Something is in Somalia. You go to Mogadishu. Actually, I used to tell, when I used to, when I used to go to, uh, I used to tell the commanders in Mogadishu, I used to say, this is my holiday now. Mogadishu, at least one week of no phone calls. Because Uganda, your phone never stops ringing. So that's our life. Uh, I thank President Museveni for uh, my uh, commander in chief for giving me an opportunity to discover Kampala. Now maybe I'll, I'm going to see more of Kampala. You have seen me dancing twice today. It has never happened in life. I never dance, never, never, never. But today I've danced twice because I'm happy to be with my people, with my generation. Team chairman, they are amazing people. They are amazing people. And, and the other teams, all, all of them, Revolutionary Guards and, uh, and uh, Avengers and uh, Original, there's, there's one called Original MK Army, then there's MK Army, so we still need to get the name sorted out. <laughs> but uh, they are all great people. There's been some kind of confusion that these groups are anti-government or they are trying to challenge government in some way. Never. How? How? <laughs> Me, I call them self-defense groups. Self-defense groups. Because people in, in Kampala had been so intimidated by the, by the opposition that they formed these groups for self-defense. And you can see how, as they were saying themselves, how the situation has improved for, for our, our, our young people, our young supporters in, 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 in some of these urban areas. Um, I want to and I think the reason they are they are so they are, they are so uh, effective is that they have the correct the correct ideology their the, the ideology as we used to say in the in the in the military they are ideologically correct they know where this country came from, they know where it is, and they know where we need to go. That's why they are such a positive, positive force, and we must all support support them. You cannot say Uganda should be a. a a colony again and that's your ideology you've seen them they have been talking about social media somebody comes and says the colonizers were better than you than you how can you say that and you you, you call yourself a ugandan the colonizers were better 
than your own government. So these people have a correct ideology, and that's why I'm very happy to be associated with them. And I think they're doing a great job, and we, we should continue to support them. We need more of this in this country, and less of the other. More of this and less of the other. And now that uh, President Museveni has given me a chance, and as my fellow, uh, fellow commanders were saying, I am, I am somebody who's very passionate. I was very passionate about the army. You all saw me. I used to call them my soldiers. People would say, why are you calling them your soldiers? They're not, no, it's because I love them. I love them. <laughs> if a commander says, the nation's soldiers, that means <laughs> you're not taking responsibility for them. A commander is like a father of his soldiers. You can't say, you say my children, you say the children of the, of, of, of the home. How, how do you call your own children? My children. So, um, that, that passion I intend to transfer into dealing with the youth now in this country. If, 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 uh, if they give me that opportunity, I'll be very happy to, to work in that way. And I think we can make a very positive change. Now, the, the, I just wanted to give you an, 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 an analogy, an example, okay, of uh, the army. In the army, we have different units, different units, different kind, with different training, with different backgrounds. Uh, in the NRA, when they would when they would be a special mission, they would call mobile brigade. Mobile brigade had certain battalions. Like the mobile brigade is the one that captured Kampala. Now, for us in UPDF, if there's some work which needs some special action or attention, we know the units to, to call. So, I think now we're going to start grading this MK Army. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're going to start grading this MK Army by your achievements yes. and capabilities. So, right now, I would say team chairman are the commandos of, of MK Army. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the others have to catch up and do better than Tim Chairman is doing. Because so far, the enthusiasm, the energy, the, it's all Tim Chair, but uh, they, are being, they, are, they, are being, they are being closely, closely followed by revolutionary guards. Where's the revolutionary guards? <laughs> and the others, and the others. Original, original. We have had now their groups in northern Uganda. So we shall, we shall, we shall be grading you according to what you achieve for uh, for the good of our country. Um, I will end also with also by. Uh, once again, thanking the President and Commander-in-Chief for promoting myself and uh, uh, Lieutenant General Kayanja Mahanga to, to our new ranks and uh, to the new position for, for General Mahanga. 
General Mahanga is a, is, a, is, is a great, great soldier. He's a great soldier. And I'm glad, I'm glad that uh, land forces is going to be led by him. Uh, I've had a long history with him. I trust him completely. I trust his uh, capabilities. He has transformed the situation in North Kivu. You people don't know much of, of your own continent. There's a place called North Kivu in, in, in DRC, where ADF was. But under his leadership in Operation Shuja, he has transformed the situation there. A very energetic man. He's always running at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. Uh, so, uh, inspirational commander, he will do a great job, I know, in land forces. I will conclude by th once again thanking my dear wife. Please, Charlotte, stand up. Today, today we, have, we have really tortured these women. We have kept them up since 6 a.m., me and, uh, and General Mahanga. The whole day, they have not, uh, they have not uh, sat, they have not uh, relaxed. They have been moving with us in, in our programs. So I thank her. I thank her first of all for our journey together, which, which started 23 years ago. Because me, I, I, I formally joined August 14th, 1999. That's when I formally joined. UPDF. But I had, when they call me LD, it's, there's some bit of truth in it because <laughs> for about five years I was like an LD. I had been trained in 1994. So my total, uh, total um, amount of time, almost 28, uh, 28 years now. But the day, to show you what kind of life soldiering is, when I, when I formally, uh, they call it what? In, what they call it when you, when you join? Attestation? What? No. At, so there's some word. En, at, uh, enrolling. Anyway, so, uh, there's a word, I've forgotten it. But um, when I did that in Bombo, August 14th, 1999, I had. We had just gotten, we had been married for three weeks. And the next day or two days, I was on an aircraft to Sandhurst. So we didn't even have a honeymoon. We just went straight into, into that life. But she has been with me, very, very strong supporter. She has. She, she, you see, she's a very quiet lady, but I can assure you, when we get home and the door closes, then, <laughs> then she really becomes a five-star five general, and, I, and I, I, have to, I have to be very, 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 very respectful. So, gentlemen, you have kept my wife up long enough. I, I, I urge you to allow us to end, this, well, at least to allow me to go before I get real problems at home today. Thank you so much. Thank you.